In each case, nature has come up with something new just by manipulating the surface of a material on a very small scale. Now, scientists are trying to do the same thing, to create new powers, maybe even superpowers. Like Spider-Man. Now, in case you aren't that familiar with Spidey, he depends on tiny structures, little hooks on the tips of his fingers that let him climb walls. Can we create a material, a smart adhesive, that will let us do the same? Turns out the best bet for that doesn't come from a spider, but from another natural wonder, the gecko. It has a nearly limitless ability to climb. The weird part is that gecko feet don't feel sticky to the touch at all. Yet somehow they stick and then unstick with ease up to 15 times a second. Now imagine if a human could do that. But first we need to figure out the gecko's secret. Kellar Autumn from Lewis and Clark College in Portland, Oregon did just that. He found the answer in the sheer number and design of the hairs on the gecko's feet. Geckos have millions of microscopic hairs on their toes. Of course, we can't see this with our naked eye because each hair is only one-tenth the size of a human hair. And each of those hairs branch down to billions of little split ends. And they can make such close contact with the surface that weak intermolecular forces can begin to add up to something really strong. Turns out, geckos exploit something called the van der Waals force. If you think of an atom as a dancing couple, when you bring two atoms into very close contact, part of one atom can get attracted to part of the other. That very weak bond is the van der Waals force, and it sticks atoms together. Proximity is the key, but bringing two materials that near each other is harder than you'd think. When I put my hand on this table, I have an apparent contact area, which is just the surface area of my hand. But the true contact area is probably a 10,000th of that. The surface of my hand is like a molecular mountain range coming down on a desert landscape. So only the tips of your molecules ever interact with the surface. But when a gecko places its foot against a wall, all those branching hairs are like a forest pressed against a desert. And when the gecko climbs, it drags its foot down, bringing not just the tips, but the sides of all those hairs against the surface. With up to half the area of the gecko's foot in close contact with the wall, the van der Waals forces really add up. And we can measure just how powerful all that gecko hair can be. What we measured really surprised us because the forest was so large that a gecko's worth of hair stuck at once could lift about 250 pounds. That's a lot of stick in a very little package, but it unsticks just as easily when the gecko peels its toes off the surface. This is an adhesive that's sticky when and where the gecko wants it to be, but it's actually not sticky the rest of the time. A smart adhesive. You know what? It just asked me if I want to save 15% or more on my car insurance. So now that we understand gecko adhesion, can scientists match it? 